Join. Hurra! Under the Vienna Convention, the United Kingdom will now expel 23 Russian diplomats. Hi there, I'm Brian Whitmore, director of the Russia program here at SEPA, and this is a vertical video, the first in a series about hybrid containment. A nerve agent used in Europe for the first time since World War II. A law enforcement officer abducted from the territory of a NATO member. Multiple cyber attacks on our institutions and on our infrastructure. A deluge of disinformation, fake news and propaganda aimed at poisoning our discourse. Extremist, xenophobic and radical parties and movements courted and supported across the West like an army of Trojan horses. Organized crime wet networks deployed like guided weapons. Do we really need any more data points to conclude that Vladimir Putin's regime is waging an all-out war in the United States and its allies? What's it going to take before we wrap our heads around this clear and indisputable fact? For years, the Kremlin's been using active measures and influence operations to deceive, divide, confuse, and distract us. It's weaponized finance, energy, and corruption to build networks of influence, and it's weaponized organized crime to generate untraceable black cash and carry out black ops. In his crusade to wrest Western democratic institutions, undermine transatlantic unity, and destroy the European Union, Putin has combined the classic toolbox of the KGB with the tried and true tactics of a mafia syndicate. So the question remains, what are we going to do about it? Things like financial sanctions, diplomatic expulsions, and the Magnitsky Act are a good start. But rather than simply being reactive, the West needs to be proactive. It needs a coherent, coordinated, systematic, and multilateral policy to deal with the Putin regime's non-kinetic aggression. If we are the targets of a hybrid war, it stands to reason that we should respond with something I call hybrid containment. More than seven decades ago, George Kennan famously wrote that Moscow's aggression should be contained by the adroit and vigilant application of counterforce at a series of constantly shifting geographical and political points corresponding to the shifts and maneuvers of Soviet policy. In 1947, Kennan was, of course, describing the military containment that would become the cornerstone of U.S. Cold War policy. But the same principle can be applied in a non-kinetic fashion to the hybrid political war we find ourselves in today. Hybrid containment would push back against weaponized crime, corruption, information, and finance in a systematic and coordinated fashion. It would include greater resilience at home, and that means reforming our own institutions to make them less vulnerable. In essence, we need to build a functional equivalent of A2AD bubbles, or no-go zones, around our institutions. It would mean deterrence, making it clear to Moscow that any attack kinetic or non-kinetic on the United States or its allies would be met with a proportionate response. It would mean having clear and credible plans on the books to retaliate exploiting areas like finance where the West has undisputed hegemony. And it would probably mean things like export restrictions and maybe even a swift ban, denying Moscow access to the benefits of the West as long as it insists on flouting the West's rules and norms. Hybrid containment is an idea whose time has come. So let's start the conversation. Let us know what you think on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Brian Whitmore, and that was a vertical video.